Welcome back to channel for another video, another match day vlog. It's Bradford City at home today, it's absolutely tipping down. So hopefully it's going to add a bit of, you know, feistiness into the game. Obviously we are very much used to sort of windy, horrible conditions. Um, not too really sure what the weather's like in, in Bradford, to be honest. I don't know why I'm going on about that. Um, but they do sit fifth in the league table at the start of the season. I said they were my favourites to win uh, Skybet League 2 and to be fair, they are, you know, a very good side. They've got some very good players. Uh, Andy Cook is probably one of the best strikers in the league. Mark Hughes probably one of the best managers in the league. It's going to be a very difficult one. Obviously, I am not going to back against us because, like, what's the point in that? Um, and like I said, we always do perform against the best teams in the league. So I'm going to go with a sneaky 1-0 county win. Something's just telling me that we're going to win the game. Be meet up with Luke very shortly. Get his thoughts and the lineups come on the port if you do enjoy the vlog please make sure to like share and subscribe up the count this one bradford city at home first of all what's your thoughts on this one then even though bradford are a good side and they might have the top score in the league they always seem to be a lot better against the higher teams and i can see this only going one way and that's going to go to newport to us it's a nice comfortable 2-0 win goal scorers oh my bogle and when you say Omar Bogle, Cameron Norman. Is there any players you see as a threat of Bradford City? Obviously the main one, Andy, Andy Cook. Cook. Is, that the, is that the main sort of person that you're looking at for in the game? Yes. We can't, okay. we can't give him space. Oh. You know, if, he, if, he, if, we, if, <laughs> if we give him space, then he'll score. Oh, okay. It's Jody in goals. Baker, Fax and Dimitri as a back three. Norman Lewis as wing backs. Harry Charsley, Bennett and Nathan from Rye Welsh, Omar Bogle and Charlie McNeil get the start up front. I'm glad to see that he's stuck with Charlie McNeil. It's a strong team up the K, 1-0. Come on, the Come on, Paul. 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 Bradford goal to score with Andy Cook, probably one of the best players in the league. No, they're still going to be Andy Cook, trying to end the Andy way. But look, you know, it's take away from Dennis oh, Gone goals. Absolutely horrific officiating. It is what it is. We've got nil, Bradford won, Andy Cook with a goal. It's a long way back from here. Half time at one three, Newport County nil, Bradford City one. The referee's been absolutely abysmal in this first half. So many decisions has gone against us when we clearly should have had them. Luke, what's your thoughts on that first half? Speechless. This, this referee is an absolute joke. No, no, normally, like you know, I'll say stuff about a referee, but it's just a contest. Fuck off, right? <laughs> what, would you, what would you say is your full-time prediction? I think 
Yeah, I think he's gonna stay 1-0. Stay 1-0. Okay. Yeah, I think he's gonna either stay 1-0 or they're probably gonna get a second. Like I said, the referee's an absolute shambles. It's gonna be interesting to see what the second half goes. Up the Kate, that's all that for. Well, that's what Fergie just do. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. chances to win the game. I don't think Brad Bradford offered that much realistically. Going forward they look decent, especially with Andy Cook, Gilliard, Clayton. They have got decent players on the pitch and I think they, you know, could have probably put us to sword if they, you know, were better on the day. It's a difficult one to take because I think on another day we win that. Oh, I'm not going to blame the referee and say it was the referee's fault, but some of the decisions were dreadful, absolutely awful. Um, you know, it is what it is. We move on to Tuesday night against a very decent Wimbledon side, which is going to be another big, big tough test for us, um, especially for you know this group of players. Uh, man of the match for me, I'm going to go Nathan Mariah Welsh. I think he's absolutely superb driving that midfield. If you haven't have enjoyed this match day vlog, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We're going to get Luke Johnson's fan camp after the game as well. Up the coat.